So today we are going to be looking at some balancing. Balancing is one of the most important things in gymnastics. It comes up all the time. It can be some quite complicated things like headstands or handstands, but also some simpler skills, one foot balances, some levers. So today we're just going to be having a look at a few of the skills that you can be practicing at home nice and safely. Balancing is something we do every day of our lives. If you're standing on two feet now watching me, then you're already balancing. But obviously in gymnastics, things get a little bit more complicated. So today we've got a few tips for you on how to balance. These tips apply to whether you're a beginner just starting out, maybe you've only been with us a few weeks, or even if you're a far more advanced gymnast, these are still things that are super important for all of your moves, so they're still really useful to know. So, the first tip, I would like you to take off your socks, I'll give you a second to do that, and I just want you to stand with your feet nice and flat on the floor. Spread your toes out into the floor, and I imagine that you're on a beach, and you're pressing your toes into the sand, so you're trying to grip just a little bit so that you make little marks in the sand with your toes. Now, can you feel that your feet are a lot more active than they might have been when you were just relaxing? This is the shape we need them in. This is the activeness we need for all of your balances. So try and remember that all the way through. Now, to test how active your toes are, we're gonna do a little experiment. So grab yourself a pillowcase or a thin towel or something like that that you can put on the floor. You're going to put your toes onto it and you're going to see if you can scrunch your toes up and scrunch and pick up the pillowcase with just your toes. Now when you do this, obviously you have to scrunch your toes a lot more than you would when you're balancing, but it's just that same idea of using your toes to grip into the floor. So the second tip is all about our legs. I have a little question for you. I would like you to put your feet together and bend your knees, and I just want you to do a few little circles with your knees. See how far you can go with those circles. It moves quite a lot, right? Now, straighten your legs and try and do the same circles with your knees. Doesn't work very well, does it? So, when we are balancing, if we want to be able to stay nice and still in our balances and keep our legs nice and stable, which one do you think might be the mo most important to do. Should we have our legs bent or straight? Of course, the answer is straight. We want nice, straight legs. But we don't just want straight legs in gymnastics, no, we're very picky. So, next thing, please go and put some shorts on, pause this video, and come back to me when you've got them on. Great, now you've got your shorts on, if you could come and sit on the floor in a pike shape for me, just like this. And if you have a look at the muscle that's just here, this big one in your leg, Give it a bit of a shake, just give it a poke gently, you'll see it's quite a big muscle, it moves quite a lot. This is your quad muscle, and this is the one we're going to be focusing on right now. So, what I would like you to do is think about pulling your kneecaps and your quads up, up, up towards your hip bones, and that's going to make your legs nice and strong. So if you come over here and have a look. So now, my legs are quite relaxed. The muscles are quite soft. My legs are straight, the backs of my knees are pretty much on the floor, but they're not pulled up. When I pull them up, this happens. So, now this muscle is a lot more defined. You can see that my kneecaps have moved up. You might even get a little crease on the inside of your leg here. So this is a relaxed, but still a straight leg. And then this is when you've pulled them up and this is the kind of shape that you're wanting to see. Now, my heels also come off the floor when I do this. Don't worry if yours don't. It just depends on how hyperextended you are in your legs. But if you have a look, when I'm relaxed, my heels are on the floor, my legs are straight. When I pull up, my heels just pop off the floor a little bit. So if yours do that, that's fine. If they don't, that's fine. The most important thing is to have nice hard quads, and this is gonna give you a nice stable support base for when you're standing up for your balances. Great, now you've done that, if you stand back up again for me, put your feet back together, put those toes back into the gripping shape that we were thinking about earlier, where you press them down, and now think about pulling your quads up in that place that you practiced on the floor. So you'll now feel that your legs are a lot stronger and a lot more defined, and that's gonna give us a nice, stable support base to be able to do our balances. 
The next tip is all about spotting, okay? Now spotting is super important for a lot of gymnastics moves, but if you don't spot properly when you're balancing, you're probably gonna fall down. So what you need to do is take an object that is directly in front of you, ideally just at your eye line, so that you can think about looking for that and focusing on it when you are doing your balances. Make sure you choose something that's not going to move. A pet dog or a pet cat is probably not the best idea. So choose a bit of a wall, a bit of a railing, a bit of a pillar. Pick a specific spot that you can focus on the whole time. So those are the first three things you really need to think about. You're gonna to go toes into the floor, pushing down nice and hard. You're gonna think about pulling your quads up towards your hip bones, and you're gonna think about picking a spot right in front of you. We're actually gonna add one more thing on that is another top tip from your coaches, which is all about your arms. Now, if you've ever done sessions with me before, you will probably have heard me talking about your aeroplane wings. These are the things that are gonna stop you from falling down. It's super important when you're doing floor, but also when you're doing bench work. Now, what we want when you're doing your arms is to have your shoulders right down. You're gonna have your arms nice and straight, they're either going to be just opposite your shoulders or they're going to be a little bit higher, but we definitely don't want them drooping downwards. Because if your arms go down and your aeroplane wings go down, then you're going to go down. Okay? So keep your arms right up. Think about pinching your shoulders back and down. You're going to have your arms nice and stretched and your fingers especially are going to be stretched. That is going to help you to stay stable. Because if your arms are going floppy, then your core is going to lose and you're going to balance all over the place down on the floor. Okay? So keep that nice and strong. So now you've got four things to think about. You've got your toes. They're going to go down into the floor. Think of that beach. You've got your quads pulling up. You've got your, your eyes looking straight forwards. And you've got your arms strong and pushing down, keeping those shoulders down and keeping our head up. If you can... The first balance we're going to look at today is our arabesque. Okay. Now an arabesque shape is when you have one leg up behind you nice and straight. But we often see a few mistakes when we're getting into an arabesque. So today I'm going to show you how to get into it properly. So ideally, when you're doing an arabesque, you're going to have one foot starting behind you. You're going to have your arms out to the side and your head up. What we see a lot of people do is then drop their leg down so they can lift their back leg. But that's actually the wrong way around. What we want to do is try and lift our leg as high as we can. It won't be very high. Just off the floor until we feel a little pinch in our back. And only when we can't lift our leg any higher is that when we start to lean forwards. Because you want to try and get your chest and your foot to be higher than your hip eventually. Okay, so you're going to keep working on it. But always work to lift that leg a little bit first and then to lift up. Now one thing that I'm not very good at, that you'll probably see on the video, is you've got to try and keep your back leg completely behind you, okay? So at the moment, a lot of people will be doing that and they'll be lifting their leg up a little bit to the side. And I am very, very guilty of this too. So don't copy me. Make sure that as you're doing it, you could even get someone to watch you and help you. You're trying to lift and keep your legs completely behind you the whole time. You try and keep your chest up as high as you can. And when you're dropping down, you're not letting this leg bend to try and push it up higher. Okay, that's not good. Okay, so the next balance we are going to have a look at is our T balance. Now, in a T balance, you're trying to make a capital T shape with your body. So this bottom part of the T is going to be your supporting leg. And then the top part of the T is going to be your leg and your body and your arm that are going to come right across in a horizontal line. So I'm going to try and give you a go and show you what to do. We're going to go this way. You're going to balance over to the side, just like that, without the wobbling. Okay, now let's break this down. First of all, you need to still think about your three top tips that we gave you earlier. So you're going to press those toes into the floor, you're going to pull your quad up and you're going to keep spotting something. But don't forget, as you're going down this time, your spot is going to move just a little bit, okay? The most important thing is to keep that leg completely pulled up. So, you're going to go this way. Now, slow and steady wins the race with a T-balance. If you throw yourself over, you're probably going to knock yourself off. So you want to try and keep your hips directly on top of that leg and you're going to lean over this way. You're going to point your toes, keep your legs nice and straight until you're completely, completely flat. And then you're going to come back up. Now, give it a go on the other leg as well because that's always a challenge. Remember, press those toes down, pull your quad up and you're going to point your toe. You're going to lift your arm this way right by your head and you're going to try and get whoop, all the way over until you're nice and flat. If you bend this leg, it's a lot harder to balance. So try and keep it nice and straight as you go. 
The next balance is a Y balance. So I'll just explain quickly what a Y balance is and then we'll have a look at how we break it down and learn it from the beginning. So your Y balance, you're making a capital Y shape with your body. Your supporting leg is gonna be the bottom of the Y. You've got one arm coming up this way to make one arm of the Y. And then your leg is gonna be the other arm of the Y because it's gonna come up nice and high. You're gonna lift up, grab your heel, and you're gonna open out, and there you can see a Y, hopefully. Okay, so obviously that is a very tricky pose to do. We're gonna go back and see how we would learn it from the beginning. To start with, we're not even gonna try it standing up. We're gonna have a look at the shape that we want to make lying down on the floor. So come over this way and lie yourself down on the mat. Now, think about keeping your leg pushing nice and long against the floor. Pull that quad up so it's nice and straight and try and keep both hip bones right down so your bottom is on the floor and we're not rolling over like that. You might see mine come up a little bit, but that's just because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> okay, so your arm is gonna come up nice and strong to make this arm of the Y. Your leg is gonna come this way. You're gonna put your hand facing outwards. Your leg is gonna come up and you're gonna put your hand underneath your heel, just like that. So you're grabbing onto your heel. So a lot of people might try and do it this way. It's a lot easier, if, it's a lot better for you if you can put your hand, so your hand is facing that way, and you're gonna go behind your heel because that is gonna make sure that your leg stays in the right position and it doesn't tilt in. You're then gonna just straighten out that leg nice and long, and you're gonna try and hold it there. So hopefully you can see that I'm now in a Y shape with my leg. Try and keep those hip bones pressed down so your bottom's on the floor. Try and keep pushing that leg really long and away from you and grow nice and tall. Now this is the shape, so remember this shape. Have a think about it and feel about it because we're gonna try it now standing up. Now, if you are super brave, then you might wanna try it straight away in the middle. However, for most of us, I would suggest putting our hand against a wall or some kind of solid surface just to have our first try. So you're gonna do exactly the same thing. You're gonna put your hand facing away from you. You're gonna lift up your heel, and you're just gonna lift up that way. Now, don't worry about this arm not making the Y. For now, just put your hand there. We can worry about that later. Once you have tried that, you could then bring yourself a little bit away from the wall. Maybe just leave it there for safekeeping just in case. And you're gonna do the same thing again. So your hand is going away from you. You're gonna put your hand behind your heel. You're gonna lift up and try and keep that hand away from the wall. It's there if you need it. But if not, you can try and put your arm back up into that wide shape. When you're feeling super brave, you can then come right into the middle and try it. Now, if you're finding all of this a little bit too hard, you feel like you can't get your heel right up like that, don't worry, there's an easier version. You can just grab onto your calf instead and lift your leg and it will be a little bit lower. So if that's more achievable for you, start there and then work your way over as days and weeks go by. So you could start by just put, putting your hand here on your calf, lifting your leg up and just seeing how high you can get it. If you are super bendy and flexible and way more flexible than me, then there's an even harder version which will help you to get your leg up even higher. So that one, you're gonna put your hand the same way, you're gonna reach your heel round, but instead of grabbing onto your heel, you're gonna reach even further and grab onto your toes. So you can see I've actually now got hold of the top of my foot, but I haven't gone this way round. I've still gone inside my leg, I've gone past my heel, and I'm grabbing here. Now then, if you're more bendy than me, you can do this with a nice straight leg, but if not, we're gonna go up like this and we're gonna try and bring our foot so it's a bit closer to our head. Now, in this position, it's really tempting to come right over like this. So try and grow nice and tall, try and keep your body as straight as possible, and then again, you want that leg nice and straight up there. Well done guys, that was really hard work. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you feel like you've improved a little bit. If you are happy for us to share your photos on social media, why not email us admin at benchmarkgym.com and then email us any photos that you've done of any of the exercises that you might have been practicing. We would love to see what you're up to. So admin at benchmarkgym.com with any of your pictures.